This is the location of the former border between Trieste and Italy, which existed from 1945 until October 1954. At the end of the Second World War, the status of many lands that were in the uh, east of Italy were disputed between Italy and Yugoslavia. After the First World War, Italy received Istria, which was in accordance with the terms of the Treaty of London, by which the United Kingdom brought Italy into the war. However, Istria is largely inhabited, or was largely inhabited, by uh, Slavic people, Slovenians and Croatians. Now, certainly the coast of, uh, of Istria had an Italian majority. We can see that from the 1910 uh, census of Austria-Hungary. But in the inner parts, it was uh, almost entirely Slovenian or Croatian. Now, the situation there was exacerbated by a process called Italianization, whereby uh, people were forced to use Italian. It was Italian was used in the courts and schools. Uh, by about 1927, there was no more uh, speaking other languages other than Italian. Schools was not permitted. Uh, which created all sorts of problems later with the German population in the Alto Adige. Now, as the uh, Tito's partisans were pretty strong, they managed to get here. Fortunately for the uh, Italian population, it was a New Zealand uh, brigade which got into Trieste a little bit earlier than the partisans. Although, having said that, the partisans did occupy many areas uh, which are now in Italy, such as Gorizia. So, uh, it had to be decided what's going to happen with Trieste. It was Trieste A and Trieste B, one being the city, the other part being Istria. Well, Istria went to Yugoslavia and Trieste stayed in Italy. Now, the thing about Trieste is quite strange because it was the largest Slovenian-speaking city before the First World War. More Slovenians in Trieste than in Ljubljana for example, and during the period of Italianization from 1927 to 1941, there was a group which uh, ch decided to resist the uh, Italianization policy uh, called TIGR, Tigre, it's like, like, sounds a bit like Tiger, which stood for Trieste, Istria, Gorizia and R Rijeka, which is of course uh, now in Croatia, uh, Rijeka being Fiume. And I would just say this, unfortunately the Italian participation in World War I was seen by many Italian nationalists as a bit of a failure because they didn't get what they expect after the Treaty of London. And it, Italy was one of the few countries in World War I which actually had some war aims because most countries didn't have any. That's my opinion, others may think differently. Um, and part of those war aims was the, the making the territory bigger. Unfortunately, the Italianization started even before Mussolini took, took over. And uh, people were even uh, threatened by these uh, thugs from the um, fascist party Squadristi. They could be beaten up if they spoke uh, Slav in public. And so that is clearly the reaction that gets. Um, the majority of Italian gains in World War I were lost in the Second World War, but this area here, from Trieste, Molfacone, Monfacone, and um, uh, Gorizia, that stayed in Italy. But for the dreadful loss of life, it wasn't uh, particularly successful after the Second World War. There you have the date. This thing was put up, 26th of October 2004, and it says 26th of October 54. After years of painful waiting, finally the, the barriers came down, which joined Trieste and the, to the mother country, Italy. Remembering this 50 years later, the National League of Trieste.